Hey everybody, welcome back to Homesteading Off The Grid. We're here today to get to the bottom of the truth of cedar apple rust. As you can see behind me, we have one of our apple orchards. Of course, our apple trees are dormant now because it's winter. We have behind our uh, apple trees a bunch of cedar trees, eastern red cedars. And we have about 10 deer right here. We have this huge herd of free range deer. So anyway, I want to talk to you about cedar apple rust. Cedar apple rust is a type of fungus that has a symbiotic relationship between cedar trees and apple trees. A lot of people really just wig out over, um, over the cedar apple rust fungus and they're like, oh, you got to get this, uh, you know, liquid copper based fungicide to spray on your trees and all these things. Listen, and, and, and you know, I'm bringing this up because people have commented in some of the videos we've made where we're planting our apple trees or we're propagating apple trees. They say, oh, you shouldn't plant those trees there. You've got cedar trees behind there. Don't you understand um, cedar apple rust? Actually, I understand cedar apple rust quite well. And after this video, you will too. Okay, <clears throat> is cedar apple rust, is this fungus going to kill your apple trees? No. Is it going to make your apple trees not produce apples? No. Is it going to harm you if you ingest an apple that was affected, that grew from a tree that was infected by this fungus, cedar apple rust? No. What's it gonna do? It's gonna put spots on your apples. It's gonna put spots on your apple tree leaves. It's gonna make them look like they have poison ivy. And it will reduce the robustness of your trees as in it won't produce as much fruit if it's infected with this fungus as it would if it wouldn't. But it's really not harmful and there's no need to go out and buy a bunch of chemicals to dump in your lawn, okay? With all the other chemicals that, especially in America, the millions of gallons a year, Americans are dumping in their lawn. Like the old, I think it was a Counting Crows song from the 90s says, I don't care about spots on my apples. Leave me the birds and the bees. Now, the liquid uh, copper uh, uh, anti-fungus solution that you can get to treat your your uh, your trees with if you do have the cedar apple rust fungus is completely organic based. It's basically hydrogen, oxygen, and copper. It's water and copper. All things organic in nature, okay? Now, this is a non-artist rendition of this orange gelatinous octopus. It looks like a tangerine with tentacles uh, of what you might find on cedar trees in the fall. Say, August, September, if you have this fungus in your area, okay? The, the apple trees are affected by the spores in uh, April, May, and then the cedar trees, you can see, are they're actively infected towards Indian summer going into the fall, okay? Now, when everything's dormant this time of year, except the evergreens, you can see your cedars. Does it make sense to go in and just chop down all your cedars and get rid of them so you can avoid this cedar apple rust fungus? No, some people do it, but you're wasting your time. Here's why. These spores can travel for miles. So you might eliminate all the cedar trees on your property around your apple trees, but if your neighbor on the other side of your tree line has apple trees on the other side of his or her property and some cedar trees over there, more than likely the fungus is going to be active over there. And there could be cedar trees a mile and a half, two miles away from where your apple trees are that can have this fungus and the spores from that distance can actually be carried on the wind. They're windborne spores and they can affect your trees. So what are some of the things you can do? Come on, honey, follow me with the phone. I think we ran off all our deer. There are several different types of apple trees that are actually resistant to this fungus. Now, I've said in some of my other videos, I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. Come here, hon, get close. Look at this. Red delicious apples, okay? This is one of several types of apple trees that are resistant, resilient to this fungus, okay? So that's something you can do to be proactive. You can use the all natural organic fungal solutions, but that really is not necessary. Uh, at best, you're kind of wasting money you don't need to spend and you're really wasting some time. 
you're going to get spots on your apples and your leaves are going to look like they have poison ivy if you do have your trees end up being infected with the cedar apple rust and that's it that's really all there is to it so this is just one of those things that people make more out of than there really is to be made out of it don't do it don't worry about it so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video hope you got a lot of informative information out of it if you did please subscribe to our channel homesteading off the grid we'll see you next time for more